Exactly. And I, I'm in that space right now. I, I feel, I, I told Jane that I'm in heaven. I feel that I'm in ascendance right now. Because I'm with you all. All right. This is Kevlin Tom Bappy, Q's Blue World, bringing you some sweet sounds from East Manhattan. I am with the artist Albi on the bass. got the bass, turned the radio on, and tried to figure it out. And I had a gig in two weeks. Yes. Simple music. Don't let's not get crazy. Simple kinks, you know. But nevertheless, I was in a band. We had gigs. I had money. Had whatever goes with it. Everything it was cool. This is what we're going to do. Sweet. Now, I want to hear who are some of the cats that you played with or hung out with that really got you jazzed up. Cecil Taylor. That was the end of that. That was the end of everything for me. Um, Cecil has holding auditions, which he usually didn't do. He usually just would get people that he wanted to play with. But he was holding auditions, and my friend and another bass player won the audition. I guess you would say, however you say that, and. Um, I figured, hmm, that might be my shot. Something happens to this guy, whatever, hey, all, all kinds of things happen, people get a better gig, whatever. So, well, that took 10 years. <laughs> I mean, look, it's not like I'm sitting there waiting for the phone to ring. No, I'm going about it. But nevertheless, it was 10 years later that, like, the phone rang. Hey, he's looking for a bass player. Oh, here's his phone number. Oh, I'm going to call him? Yeah. <laughs> So I ring Cecil up. He's a very polite person. Good afternoon. Yes. And I introduce myself to him and who I got his phone number from and that I understand that you were looking for a bass player. He says, why, yes, I am. I go, good, I'm him. <laughs> yes. He goes, oh, very good. Will you be available next week? Yeah. All right, then. See you then. Woo! Hung up the phone. Well, I kind of moved to New York that night. <laughs> Jumped in on a friend and because he thinks I live in New York. Maybe he's going to call and say, let's do something. I have to be 
Ready. Yeah. And I mean, what can I say? That was mm. that was like the highest thing mm. to play with Cecil, because for yeah. one thing to play with Cecil, another thing to just know Cecil, and the other things that you want in a gig. Uh, the music is of the highest caliber. Mm. The club is always filled. Yeah. And pay. Pay, yes. So, on and on. You answered my second, uh, my, my next question, which is what is quality artistry for you? And you described that, and I really appreciate that. Well, yeah. part of it, part of it is, um, you know, because people have, there's the wrong notes, don't play the wrong notes, uh -huh. and it's like, hmm, okay, well, um, there is a wrong note, it's the hesitated note, that's the one that's bad, know what you, you know, be confident in what you're going to play. You've worked. You've put the time in. It's the hesitated note that doesn't work. Yeah. Every other note, every other cluster, every other everything, you can make it work out. If it didn't go exactly how you wanted right from the get go, you can mold it into what you wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so. Powerful shit. And that's why they uh, they want to inhibit the arts. Because it's like the arts in general. But music has a another aspect to it. You can look at a painting and be moved by it and everything. But the painting is still just there. You can come back tomorrow and it's still there. And it is what it is, no matter how wonderful it is and how much it can move you in that way. Whereas music hits you right in the body mm -hmm. and moves you like that. And so, and then the content, hopefully, is something that moves you too. Whether you understand it or not. You know, the first time I heard Cecil or someone, someone like that, it was like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out. Yes. So, my last thought is we have the world here with us what would you like to say to them what is your last note that you would like to play for them it's the old, it's the old Rodney King thing can't we all just get along God but when you look at all the things the wonderful things that humans can do throughout the ages. They can do anything for some reason.